Hi everyone, greetings from Taiwan. Uh, we are having a great time with our student teachers in Taiwan. They're doing, they're really doing a good job. Uh, it's challenging uh, because of the ability to, their ability to work with uh, English language learners, but uh, I think they're coming around and, and we're having a really good time with schools and learning about the culture. So I hope, you know, those of you who might be interested in student student teaching in an international site in the future, I, I certainly hope that you consider Taiwan because it is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. The hospitality is out of this world. So um, you'll be hearing more about that and I'll try to show you some more pictures um, maybe on Thursday. Uh, but our day today was pretty long, so I just didn't have time to really put those together in this too. So um, what, what I'll do is I'll kind of start with uh, uh, Welcome to 201 Flipped this week. And keep in mind that Tuesday will be flipped, also Thursday. And I know you're working hard on your digital stories, but please do not forget these lectures. Uh, it's not like we're not having class. We're still having class. There's important information to cover. And in order to do that, um, I'm going to let the technology kind of work for me and uh, hopefully still have connections with you and keep you moving and thinking about literacy, pedagogy, and technology. So if you're in, obviously, if you're in this introduction, you are already in the flipped lecture um, that is available in the weekly materials and going through the introduction again I have five things for you to cover uh, one being this introduction then after you listen to the introduction go to number two which happens to be another video and this video is by Dr. Amy Hutchinson and she is one of our outstanding literacy faculty and actually Amy works a lot with technology so uh, literacy is one area where I'm certain that you will have to use technology again now uh, Amy recorded her video in Panopto and I'm hoping that you're not going to have a problem with that but notice that I have clicked and it says on my computer this might be true in yours or it might not be but it says to install Microsoft Silverlight instead of doing that I think you should just be able to go down here say watch the basic version instead and the video will come up in the screen go down to the right hand corner and then you can get that full screen okay and then you can see Amy there in the corner and then again listen to what amounts to her lecture about her thoughts on TPAC and literacy and notice you can see it on this first screen she breaks it down into content pedagogy and then she does go in and talk a little bit about technology as well okay so that is the first thing that I would like you to do then if you go back to the flip lecture the third part the third part is a reading and I I personally think this is an outstanding reading of where you want to be and what you want to do um, at this point in time with thinking about literacy and technology. Again, when we started this section, you were dealing with digital stories. Now I want to ground you back into, okay, what should we be doing for literacy and what should we be doing for technology? This article by Shettle and Bauer is a really really good one to situate you in thinking about how you want to use technology in your classroom this is actually an article about the one of the authors Kevin Bauer as he goes through his experiences about thinking about technology and he does talk about talk about this infused classroom but he he breaks technology or the authors break technology down into three levels you can see they also mentioned TPAC as well so it's a very nice fit for us in our class level one they say is technology as a novelty 
Um, level two is technology as a necessity, and level three is technology as a, as a natural. And so I really want you to kind of read this article with a critical lens on thinking about those three levels, thinking about if you were in the classroom right now, what level would you be, and, and realistically thinking about that. But I think that idea of how do we work to uh, start using technology as a natural uh, vehicle in our classroom rather than this very difficult thing that, that's hard to do. Also, um, I will ask you to, for your exit ticket, I will ask you to look at at least one of the um, applications, uh, Web 2.0 tools that he talks about in this article. I think I talked about over, or I, I highlighted over 25. So please take the time. Don't pick one that you're already familiar with. Pick one that wow, this sounds interesting. I want to see what this is. And you know what? You don't have to just pick one. Go to 12. 212 degrees and go above and beyond and look at more than one and then for your exit ticket maybe um, really talk about your favorite one. So I really encourage you and almost urge you to spend some time on this article and spend some time looking at the resources of which the authors give you because they're really good ones. Okay, um, let's see. I have to go back here. Sorry. Let me go back. Okay. So that's the third thing. The fourth thing is another really great tool that I think every uh, pre service teacher should know about, especially uh, related to literacy instruction, and that is a site by the International Literacy Association. And the site is called Read, Write, and Think. And again, if you have time, have a look at more than just this little bit that I'm going to ask you to look at. But notice that is a, it's a great professional development site for teachers, you as pre-service teachers. It has different professional development things, videos, even parent after school kinds of resources. But what I want you to go over to is the classroom resources menu of which notice lesson plans. Lesson plans, that should light a bulb because you have a lesson plan here due in a few weeks for 201. And you guys, these are excellent, excellent lesson plans. And I'll, sh I'll kind of take you through one of those here in a minute. There's also student interactives, mobile apps, wow. Uh, calendar activities, okay. And then printouts. Printouts, I you know, that's worksheets, so leave, take it or leave it, but there's some, some value in those at some times. But I want you to go into the student interactives. In this student interactives, what these are, are these are online interactive tools that the um, International Literacy Association and the National Council of Teachers of English have all reviewed, have all developed, and are excellent, excellent resources for teachers and students. And they're really fun, they're really easy. Um, they're not really game-based, they're more um, tool-based, and so they they um, do different things. Like here's one, inquiry and analysis, here's one on writing proposals, poetry, listening about language, all kinds of things. Notice they have some featured ones, they have the most popular ones, and then they also, if you go up here kind of to the top, see all the student interactives, and total there are 59 interactives from this site. And they're all grade level based, so you can search by grade level, you can search by topic, um, lots of different things. Again, you guys, don't just look at the first page. 
push yourself and look at a few pages here and find one or two or three that looks really interesting for you to you know kind of explore and see what they are you can go to the pages they talk about the interactive they give the overview and then at the bottom notice that they give lesson plans using that interactive for all grade levels that are aligned with the grade band that they've stated for the interactive. And you guys, these are great, great um, lesson plans. Notice overview, that's part of a lesson plan that we have for you. Um, you have to kind of look at that, even from theory to practice, we don't ask for that. But if you just go through these tabs, it's going to really give you a really nice, you know, example of kind of what's expected for a really thorough, well-planned lesson plan. Notice preparation there. Um, instructional plan, that would be your lesson procedures. It gives step-by-steps. Again, these are not just note-taking kind of lesson plans these are very thorough and very well done okay lots of resources all the things so look at that too but again going back what I really want you to look at is I want you to look at these student interactives. I'm just really going to go quickly into this one that's most popular because they have one called Story Map. And the Story Map, I'm doing this one or getting you started on this one anyway to illustrate it because we did story mapping for digital storytelling. So this could be maybe an interactive that you use for something like that. Although I think I would see it a little bit more um, used for an English language based activity or something like that. So you just put in um, your title. Sorry I'm not on a... So if I say um, I'm going to do one on Taiwan that's in my mind right now. Okay, sorry, I'm moving around here. That's good enough. Okay, choose a graphic organizer. So there's different graphic organizers, and maybe I'm going to do a setting map. So I have to say the place. So I'm just going to say my place is Taiwan. Okay, and then I just press the enter key, and then it gives me the time. Okay, um, uh, early April 2015, press the enter key, keep going, but you can have kids write a lot more because what is this doing? It's building their story map so they can use it then to write their story. Okay, so really cool tools have a look at them. These might be some tools that you look for or look for something that to use in your own um, lesson plan that you're doing for this class. So I think there's a lot of really cool things um, that you can um, practice with and kind of go back to. Okay. The last thing for your flip lecture is an ex exit ticket. And like you've done exit tickets a couple times before, so you will see that, again, I don't think you're going to do this in a couple of minutes. You're going to have to think about it because the first two questions are on Dr. Hutchinson's video, so you'll have to listen to that carefully. The next one is about the article, and the last one is about the um, Read, Write, Think site. So, again, I think... Um, it will be a very useful uh, lecture, flip lecture for you with a lot of useful information in it. And like I say, I know you're very busy with your digital story, but again, um, we would have had class anyway. And I think this will be a really, really rich class in terms of uh, pushing you to think about how literacy content, pedagogical approaches related to literacy, and then technology tools that are just very, very closely aligned with literacy content can be used to enhance your classroom. Okay? So I hope you're having a great week, and I'll check back with you with another flip lecture on Thursday. That one will be about assessment. Have a great week.